I really want to show you the difference in the takeaways from the first hole to the sixth hole. I'm sorry, the fifth hole, which is the right video. In the first video, now pay attention, this is this is going to seem very minimal, but it's a big thing. And that's the shaft. Right here, you see, it, it again, it gets a little bit behind. And this one here, the club is much more level with your hands, and the shaft dissects through the form in that position. So this one's a little bit too much inside. Again, you're going to do a good job to try to control it, but that shaft is going to be, it's obviously going to be slung a little bit too far out and across the ball, and you're going to cut it. It's going to take a lot of power and compression off of the golf ball. Now remember, this one over here in the fifth hole, you really just went a ton slower. The transition was better. You didn't force it. The club stayed a little bit more back. And you can see when the club gets into the golf ball, it is right there level with it. You gave yourself the best possible chance of hitting the golf ball solid. And this club is on the outside of the golf ball. So again, pretty easy to see the difference on the collision that you're going to create. I really want to make sure that the collision that you're creating is much more of a head-on collision. So if the club slips a little bit on the outside of the golf ball, we're going to run into a problem because you're going to have to cut across the ball. And that's never going to give you a compressed golf ball. It's always going to have a glancing blow. So we need to get that golf club again feeling like it's coming right smack head on to the golf ball. But it's got to do that by coming from the inside first. 